Hey everyone, welcome back to Code of the Row. If you're passionate about game development or just curious about what makes your favorite games tick, you're in the right place. Today we're diving into one of Unreal Engine 5's most powerful tools, the Gameplay Ability System, or GAS for short. Whether you're a seasoned developer or someone just starting out, this system is a game changer and by the end of this video, you'll understand why GAS is a must have in your development toolkit for creating games, whether you're a beginner or an advanced developer. So what exactly is the Gameplay Ability System? In simple terms, GAS is an incredibly versatile framework that allows developers to create complex abilities and attributes for their characters. But let's break it down a bit more. Imagine you're playing a game like Fortnite or an epic RPG. What makes those special abilities? Like a powerful spell or a rapid fire attack work? That's where GAS comes in. GAS isn't just about flashy moves and cool effects, though it certainly handled those with ease. It's about creating a solid foundation for your game's mechanics, whether it's a simple action like jumping or an intricate skill with sets of cooldowns, resource management, and level scaling. GAS has you covered. It provides all the tools you need to build these systems efficiently in a way that can easily scale as your game grows. So why is GAS so powerful? Imagine you're building a game from scratch. You could use pre-built frameworks or plugins from Unreal Engine Marketplace, but with GAS, you have something directly from the minds behind Unreal Engine themselves. It's free, it's robust, it's designed with both single player and multiplayer games in mind. That means whether you're working on an indie project or aiming for AAA quality, GAS provides the scalable solution that grows with your game. You're able to do this alone without having to rely on marketplace assets, which can go dark on you from time to time. And unfortunately, that has happened to me. I've bought a few combat systems in the past and they suddenly just stop updating or just take months to release a simple bug fix like an AI spawner. As sad as that can be, some developers are still like that till this day. GAS isn't for just one type of game. It's incredibly versatile. You can use it for RPGs where abilities evolve as your characters level up, or in MOBAs where each character's unique skill set is crucial to gameplay. The beauty of GAS is that it's not limited to any one genre or style. It's a framework that empowers you to bring your creative vision to life, no matter what type of game you're building. Now I know what some of you might be thinking. This sounds great, but I'm new to Unreal Engine or game development in general. Can I really jump into something this advanced? And the answer is a resounding yes. One of the most incredible aspects of GAS is how it's built to be accessible to developers at all levels. Sure, there's a learning curve, but that's true with any powerful tool. Now, let me tell you, if you're new to Unreal Engine, starting with GAS will set you up on a path not only to boost your skills and also prepare you to tackle more complex challenges down the road, the system is integrated seamlessly with Unreal's Blueprint Visual Scripting making it possible to create abilities without a single line of code. This means you can focus on learning the logic and structure of game design while still building something incredibly powerful. And personally, if you're building small games, Blueprint is completely fine and you don't have to force yourself to use C++. So let's look at the logic behind GAS. At its core, GAS is built around three key components, attributes, abilities, and gameplay effects. These are the building blocks of your game's mechanics. Attributes are the stats that define your character's capabilities. Things like health, stamina, or magic points. Abilities are the actions your character can perform, whether that's swinging a sword, casting a spell, or even something as simple as jumping. And then we have gameplay effects, which modify these attributes. For example, you could have a poison effect that slowly drains health over time, or a buff that temporarily boosts your damage output. These components work together in a way that's not only logical, but also incredibly flexible. You can create a simple attack or layer multiple effects to create complex, data-driven interactions that react to the game state in real time. It's this level of control that makes GAS so powerful. Because once you understand the logic, the possibilities are endless. So why do I personally recommend GAS, especially if you're serious about game development? For one, it's developed and maintained by Epic Games themselves. This means you're not just using any tool, you're using a system that's been refined and tested in some of the biggest games out there, like Fortnite. It's also built with long-term support in mind, so as Unreal Engine evolves, you can trust that GAS will continue to receive updates and improvements. Another reason to choose GAS is its community. I'll be making a wealth of tutorials, my own documentation, and my own resources, both from Epic and our developer community via my Discord, and this means you're never alone in your journey. Whether you're troubleshooting an issue or looking to expand your skills, there's always someone out there who's willing to help. I want to take a moment to speak directly to anyone who's just starting out in game development. If you have a passion for games and a drive to create, GAS is an amazing place to start. 
It's more than just a tool. It's a gateway to understanding how games you love are made. By learning GAS, you're not just learning Unreal Engine, you're also learning to think like a game developer. Remember, every great game starts with an idea in someone's mind. With tools like GAS, you have the power to turn those ideas into reality. So whether you're dreaming of creating the next big RPG or want to make something fun to share with your friends, GAS gives you the foundation to build something amazing. This is also the structure that big AAA companies are also looking for. So a lot of jobs that I've been looking at recently and a lot of contracts that I work for, they specifically ask if I know GAS, if I know gameplay ability system. And this is a very important structure because you're gonna know that when you create GAS and components for GAS, it's also creating modular components that you can use in other games. It's not specific to just one game. Thanks for sticking around and diving into the world of gameplay ability system with me. If this video inspired you or if you have any questions about getting started, drop a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. Don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials, tips, and deep dives into Unreal Engine. Together we can bring your game development dreams to life, and I'll see you in the next video and happy developing.